Hello everybody, I'm Mold Alwise, and this is Bat and Kaito's Origins once again. In the last episode, we lived a normal, simple life back in the village of Sheraton. Found out about a lake monster and came to investigate, and now there's people that are all drowned and stuff. Doggy, Saki, bad news, this person's face is all pale. I don't know what's going on, but he's all pale. We gotta do something. Yeah, let me see. I don't know what's wrong, but he seems to be in terrible pain. What should we do? Well, first, we come over here and grab some of these reeds with a dense air around them. Yeah, photosynth lily. Take one of those. And then we come over here, and that should be able to make him breathe again. Unless... Yeah, okay, we don't use the photosynth lily on him, but we do use it on the guy that's over here. We got Teak jumping up and down. Oh no, oh no, this person keeps twitching. I don't know what's going on, but he's twitching like crazy. We gotta do something. Of course we gotta do something. Terrible pain, what should we do? Yeah, it only brings up the blank Magnus down there if we have what we gotta use on him. And there's a photosynth lily on you. Jumps right back to his feet. Fallen old man. Pretty spry for an old man. Thank you so much. I was going into a fit there. You saved me. Several people ran into the ruins. They should be fine. They're young. The problem is the village elder. I'm worried about the elder's whereabouts. He was near the monster, so who knows? Oh, I got a chill. I was staving off hunger with this. You should take it. Ice fruit. Oh, I'm still dizzy. Hope you will forgive this old man for leaving the rest to you young people. It's not much, but take this reward. If only I've had more than this meager pocket change to give. Ten gold. Well then, take care. I will try to. Yep, go ahead and slowly walk all the way up on out of here. There could be still more villagers in the area. I'll take a look around. Yeah, you do your looking. I'm gonna grab this doodad here. Heavenfall. That is a move for Soggy, and I don't want the quest Magnus menu. Now, we'll just throw that in there, and what about that? Okay, can't... There we go. Ice fruit. Boosts ice defense by 100. Eh, might as well. No point in not using it. So... Yeah, well, I throw this in there. And that. And I got one more open spot. Her. But I don't think I have any cards I actually want to use. So that spot can stay open until I find something. Now, I think this guy has a bunch of algae in his mouth that needs to be washed out. Terrible pain. Bad news, his face is all pale. I don't know what's going on. We gotta do something. Yeah, well, there's nothing we can do for him right now. This guy. Cough, cough, wheeze. You saved me, bro. Any longer and I'd have drowned. I'll tell you something in return. That crate I was sitting on, it's got a trick to it. It's no good. I'm... I'm all... lightheaded, so... Tired. You got it. I've got to... Sleep. It's up to you. Sleep. Okay, so we said there was a trick. Some kind of secret. A thorough search from top to bottom might turn something up. Uh, can I push it? But... I'm not seeing anything. And... Yeah, that dude... He always drowned when I was playing the GameCube version. I think they might have given him a little more time on the clock in the remaster. And then when you come in here, Soggy looks at him and just says, oh, it's fine, he's just unconscious, we'll come back later. But anyway, I need some water to wash that dude's mouth out. And I don't think there's any water around here that I can actually grab. Face is all pale. And 
It's awful. His face is all pale. His mouth is full of algae. He must not be breathing. We have to wash it out with some water. Yes, and there's several puddles of water that I can't go grabbing any water from. But I am pretty sure that I can grab some water down this elevator in the middle. Which also leads us directly into a boss fight. And I'm not sure if it'll actually let me go down there before saving that dude. Or if Teak and Watcho are gonna say, Don't go doing stuff! This guy needs help! But, let's see. Okay, it actually does let me go down. But first, before we can grab some water from down here, there is Boss. Look, there are people here. These must be some of the missing villagers. So, yep, those are missing villagers. Are you all right? He says. Oh, thank goodness, they're just passed out. And we seem to have a big problem circling us right now. Gersploosh. Ah! Yep, looks a lot like that thing we fought back at the Emperor's residence, except it's got fins and stuff. It's that thing! Soggy, get your magnets ready. It's going to attack. Yeah, no shit. When a big old monster like that pops up, it doesn't usually not attack. It always attacks. Wouldn't be much of a monster if it didn't attack. Now let's get to exterminate, shall we? I don't have a lot of good hitty things right now. But... Okay, yeah, there, there we go. Alright, good. Okay, Saki seems to be frozen to the ground. And I ain't having a lot of luck drawing things that I can chain together. Eh... Uh, Ice fruit, why the fuck not? There we go. Now, I probably shouldn't have went and thrown that flame mail on, but I did! And Millie drink a potion, Soggy also drink a potion, we've been- we're taking some hits here. Yeah, and this boy hit hard. He is a hurdy hitty man, and I... Definitely would like to have some attack and or defense going. And I'm not sure if having fire defense would block water damage or water defense blocks water damage. It was opposing elements blocking the, uh, the opposite element in the first game. And we'll throw that shield on Gilo real quick. And definitely can't go poisoning this thing. This ain't one of those games where you can inflict statuses on the bosses. It just ain't like that. And, okay, yeah, Millie's looking a little rough there. So, we're gonna be using some healing junk. Millie, eat some beans! Hope you survive long enough to do it. I see death. Ow. That was indeed some very icy death. And I don't really like the idea of being icy death all the time, all the time. Uh-oh. Well, good use of that potion there. I wish Soggy weren't frozen anymore. But he got icy death, so he's stuck there for quite a long time. Wait. I didn't tell you to use a potion on her! I wanted you to use the potion on on yourself! And then... Well, at least I do have that other Fate's Cordial, so... We're... Good-ish for now. Okay, Gilo took that hit real good. Very good bonus of having that defendy juice on. Very glad that I went and upgraded that heat robe or whatever you had that is now the indigo flame thingy. So, yeah. 
And we'll go ahead and ice fruit it up. And maybe throw some beans little old Soggy's way. Just gotta hang tough. And we'll be good. And I'm not having a lot of luck on the healing juices. I'm getting a lot of not potion going on here. So, uh oh. Nice, Gilo didn't get all frozen from being hit by Icy Death. And that is something we can all get behind. Now, yeah, still a distinct lack of potion. I had that one, but it ain't enough. Just a single potion. There, you can drink that one. Hope you don't die before you can. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're standing strong for now. Oh, hey, it looks like I won. Gotta win in order to take that big old pound into the face. What's going on? None of our attacks are hurting it. Speak for yourself. We were doing plenty of damage just now. It's just like last time. This could get ugly. Let's retreat to the village for now. Gilo, take Millie and go. I'll buy you some time. Or Gilo can do that thing they did in the last time we fought one of these things. Get all shiny and whoop on it. Yep. There you go. Now, why couldn't you do that right off the bat? Making me actually play the game to fight this thing. And it's down. Yay, levels for everybody. And I got seven star dust out of you. Well, that takes care of that problem. And Soggy ain't having a headache this time. Not bad, Dingbat. And here I thought you were just a can opener. And this is the first time we hear Millie called Gilo Dingbat out of many, many, many times throughout the game. Hey, Gilo, are you listening? Uh oh, it's you. Gilo, Gilo, you are acting weird. You don't remember anything this time either. Yeah. Alas, this time I remember it all. I think. I may have been made for the sole purpose of killing these things. What does that mean? Why would you summon make you just for killing? You were buried in the ground. It'll all make sense about 20 episodes from now. We can talk about this more once we get back to Sheraton. Let's look a little further before we go. We might find some more missing villagers. Gilo's all sad about having murdered a monster. You should be proud! Now you. Ugh. He's just unconscious. He'll probably wake up if we splashed a bit of water on him. Speaking of... Water! Pristine water. Gonna need some for that guy, some for the guy up top. And probably some for that person right there next to the elder. And I think that's all the water we need. I don't remember if we need some for that person next to him or not, but we definitely need some for the elder and the guy upstairs. Unga bunga, have some water. And Gersploosh right over the ding dong. Ugh. Elder, are you alright? Uh, Soggy, is that you? I see you came to help us. 
It appears you stopped that beast. Sorry, but there are others who went missing after the attack. Would you help them too? It's not much, but here's incentive. Take it. I feel better that way too. And he gave me a coupon. How many villagers were here? I rescued one along the way, not counting you. Including me, we were six people. That leaves four more you need to save. And one of them is right there. Oh, growing old is a curse. I'd love to help you search, but my body won't allow me to. I'm a lazy old bastard. I'm just gonna sit here, eating candy, and if you ask for some, I'm just gonna tell you it's medicine and not let you have any. Well, let's wake you up. Wakey, wakey! Are you alright? Oh, where am I? That's right, there's a monster! You saved me, right? I saw it through a sort of haze, thank you. Oh, I'm so relieved the Elder's fine. If I was the, the only one who made it, I would have been out of a job. I think there are others who were attacked and need help. Please take care of them too. Also, I don't as much, but please use this. I will definitely use that. Three more villagers to go! Now let me uh, just uh, cram that potion and that seven star dust in there. I'll swap out one of the low potions for a regular potion. And then later on we'll get medium potions and high potions. Because that's the way the potions work in this game. And now... Let's splash some water on this guy. And, yep, we'll wash the shit out of your face hole. When did I get that other rotten food? I, I used the rotten food I already had to upgrade that armor for Gilo. Yeah, you've been saved. Elder asked me to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Here's a lightning club. And now to slowly stroll on out of here. Yeah, there can still be more villagers. You keep looking. Shut up, you little bastards. And I need to think about what turned into rotten food. Because I can't think of what it could have possibly been. What did I have that was food that turned rotten. I don't know, but I ain't carrying that around anymore. That shit's cutting down my maximum health. Couldn't have been that mountain apple. Oh look, the guy who just decided to sleep in a monster's lair is under attack by a monster. But like I was saying, it couldn't have been that mountain apple because I gave it to that little girl to get into the vault where Teak's hat was. And... I'm just gonna whoop on you real hard. You can have some toxic dumpling. And... I, uh... I'm, uh... I'm losing the train of thought here. But I don't think I need to be relying too heavily on healing supplies here. I'm more than capable of taking on one big ugly crab thing. Now, let me just wail on your big old crabby ass. You shouldn't be lasting too much longer. Why ain't you even just hunched over all week and shit yet? There it is! Now he's hunched over and ready to die. And I... I, uh... Okay, there. That did it. He's dead. Yep, everyone does your celebratings and then... Did he drop anything? Nope. He's just dead. Dead old crabby boy. Are you gonna tell me about that box? Uh, thanks for pushing that wall back before I drowned. Draining the water totally saved me. It's not much, but I found this back there. Hopefully you can put it to good use. It's another coupon! Have you figured out that box's trick? Do you see the switch at the bottom of this side? If you press it, wheels come out and you can push it around. Then just push it into the hole in the corner. After that, it's, it's a surprise. Try and see for yourself. I have faith you can get it. Okay. Box on wheels.
go pushy push over into the hole in the corner. I hope. Yeah, one more village. I hope he's talking about the corner over here and not this corner over here in front of the door because if I push it over there. Eh. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, press the damn switch. It's wheels. Yeah, now. It just gotta. There it is. Push the stick in just the right spot. And. Eh. Well, I pushed it all the way over there. Can I push it downward some? Or, uh, okay. Maybe he meant a hole in a different corner. And now there's more monsters in here. Well, it can only be this corner over here because I can't push it up. Now, there it is. And that makes a treasure chest happen. And fortunately, that is not blocking the door. Foxfire cap. Nice. But there's a fish in me, and I'm gonna have to kill it! I ain't intending to go running from no battles, though. I really do need the experience and stuff. So, it's time for good old-fashioned monster murder time. Uh, oh, I could have... Did I not do a thing for Soggy? A fucking... What is with that outline you've got going? That after-image effect? That is cool, though. That definitely wasn't a thing. Yeah, I didn't put any special move down for Soggy. My brain went and shat all over itself while I was in the process of trying to do that. That's the downfall of trying to talk and play games at the same time. Your brain just falls apart. Your train of thought ends up riding the rails up into your asshole. And that shit don't help at all. When my train of thought goes wrong, it goes real wrong. And I don't like it going real wrong. And now you're gonna need to eat another potion because Millie has been taking a nice little ass beating here. So, yeah, that's bad. Real bad having that sort of ass whooping going down. And... I just want things to die. Bad things must die, that's all that I, all we need to know is things are dying here. And it's the things that need to be dying, and, which means things that aren't me. Can't have me dying, that would be bad. Bad for business. And I know what's bad for business, cause business do be bad sometimes, you know. And I ain't one that's ready to be down for having the bad business. Bad business is not my business, I only do the good business. The business of whooping the ass out of some crab thingy. And you are still very much alive and I do not approve, mister! Now let me just heaven fall your little ass and that should be the end of you! Yep, good. He's dead! Yeah, I do win, don't I? So that fish is myrtled. And it's time to go rescue the last person who's over in the right side of the ruins. And then we'll go talk to the elder. So what we gotta do is go in here, find a person hiding in a box... This wooden crane is making noise. It's almost like someone is inside. Wait, someone is inside? Uh, I think it's safe to come out now in this room full of monsters. Ahem. There's still monsters out there, right? So, yeah. Gotta kill all the monsters before this person comes out. Alright. That is the last of the monsters in the room. So... 
we can go and get person out of the box, and that would be everybody. Now. This wouldn't create making noise. Someone's inside. I think it's safe to come out now. There you go. Ooh, I thought I'd die in there. I barely managed to hide after that monster pulled me into the lake. Thanks for saving me. It was cramped in there, but I'll live. Here's a little thank you. Now, how did you not drown when the room was filled with water? All right, then. I'll see you back in Sheraton. Yeah, you get to safety. I'll go tell the elder that everyone's safe. And then we head back to the village, and that's where the shit hits the fan. So, Mr. Elderman, get ready for some news that you're going to be very happy with. Oh, so all six of us are safe? That is truly a relief. I'm deeply indebted to you. This is my thanks for helping everyone. I don't know if you like it, but I hope it proves useful. It's a saber. I already have one of those. And a guard charm. So, this thing. A black mist is spreading from the fallen monster. Just what is this thing? It's dead. That's what it is. Oh, so very super dead, and it's never going to be getting back up and causing any problems ever again. Because it's dead. So, we're going to save, head back to the village, and like I said, shit's going to hit the fan real hard. Really hard. You might remember somebody talking about a village called Sheraton, probably into a phone in the last episode overnight. And there's that shit hitting the fan that I was talking about. What? Where were you, ghost boy? You missed the part where I seized the village. What in the hell are you riding in? How did you know? I don't need to know. They told me to come here, so I did. But that's the least of your concerns. I told you, kid, if you want to stay alive, you need to keep a low profile. So what are you doing in the spotlight? I fucking love the song that's playing right now. What is that? Some kind of weapon? Obviously. This is the birth child of Imperial Progress, of Machina Arma. I've never actually used one before, which is why you're gonna help me put it through the ropes. Well then, time to see if I can actually take this thing on. And I'm pretty damn sure I can. I did survive that monster back in the lake. And while this thing does hit pretty hard, it ain't hitting quite as hard as that monster was back there. Damn. Just a little short of getting some enough power to go use in a thingamajig. So, yeah. Now, yep, there we go. That is what I like seeing here. Uh-oh. That's probably going to throw a wrench in the, the combo I had set up. But at least she attacked Gilo and not Soggy or Millie, which would throw an even bigger wrench in the combo. Yeah, it stopped Gilo from joining in with that one single attack. Oh, you really don't like Gilo. Probably because I made them go and use that taunt. That's what the problem is, isn't it? 
Gila went and pissed you off, and now you're here looking for revenge. That's why. Oh, uh, balls. Yeah. That's bad. Real bad. Could really do with another one of those Fates Cordials. But I ain't seeing one. Okay. There's a potion. I can definitely use that. Okay, another potion. A better potion. Let's throw that on Soggy. There. That is some good potion right there. Now... Okay, finally, a thing to get Gilo back up. That is very much necessary right at this, this very moment. Uh, Millie's about to get blasted. Oh, cock, yeah, that hurts. Some real damage going on there, but nothing little beans won't cure. Well, actually, the beans will not cure it because... Uh, yeah, they barely heal at all. It should not have discarded that potion. I am just a big old stupid head. That is what my problem is. Come on, lady. Gilo didn't even taunt you that time. What you attacking Gilo for? Gilo ain't the one who's in deserving of the hurty pains. And yet, Gilo is the one who's receiving the hurty pains. That is just really uncalled for. Always hurting the Gilo. And, okay, you're targeting Soggy this time. He can take it. He's a tough young lad. He knows what's going on. And Gilo, you can have some potion now. You're gonna be standing strong. We are barely doing any damage to this thing. Like one, two, maybe ten at most. And that is just some really not good stuff going on here. Really bad. Not good at all in the least, no, sir. But you're still about to be hurt to some extent. You're taking damage. I can assure you of that. Damage has been done. Okay. Soggy took a laser cannon to the face hole, but he'll be fine. He's got a potion. Drinky juice to the rescue. And might as well use this ice fruit. I mean, she ain't gonna be freezing me at all. But it has no use here. And Gilo is down. Or Millie is down. So I'll have Soggy use that shield. That'll draw in some aggro. And absorb a shitload of damage. Okay, only one hit there. I was hoping you'd do more. So I'd get more mileage out of that shield. Oh, look. I won. Again. Oof. I won by losing, just like the last fight. Now, what's gonna help me this time? We're outmatched. This Machina armor is stronger than any monster. Oh no, here comes Laser again. Soggy, watch out! Ah! And there's that monster that was super very dead. Not so dead anymore now, though. What the hell? That's... What are Malpertio's afterlings? Nobody said anything about this? Yeah. They kind of show up unexpectedly. And everybody leveled up again. And I got Levin Snake's Rise. That is a move for Gilo. Yeah! Punch her! Smash her teeth! Her! 
We're changing objectives. Make the afterlink priority one. All units, shoot this blasted thing. We'll get the spiriter later. I don't think your bullets are doing anything. You're just pissing it off is all you're doing. Bitch slap! Turn around. Bitch slap! Look at that, your men are all dead. I think it's gonna go back to punching you now. <laughs> You've done it now, haven't you, freak? Thanks to you, the Empire's armor is ruined. Oh, it's destroying it. Are you trying to bite her head off or something? Because I approve. But guess what? I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. If you're so damn hungry, you can start by eating this! No! Oh, Sogi! Milliard! Yep, that would be the call. Take cover! Lasered the shit out of that thing. And sheared a mountain clean off of the island. Uh, yep. Now, it's super very dead and never going to cause any problems again. That time I'm not being sarcastic. Because... Headache and flashback. When the headache flashback happens, that's when one of those things is dead. And this time, Gilo's here with me. And Millie. Come on, wake up, Marno. Are you alright? Who the fuck's Marno? Yeah. Well, guess I'm a Marno. It's no good. Everyone's disappeared. All that's left is their Magnus. Their Magnus? What does that mean? Where are we anyway? The folk who were turned to Magnus don't even seem to realize anything's happened. It's sad, but there's only one thing we can do, and that's stop him from striking the next village. You are right. Let's return to Naus for now. What's with those people? They were acting like they didn't even see me! That was no act. They didn't seem to have any idea you or I were here. There was more. More? Yeah, more to the dream I had at Olgit's residence. A dream? Are you trying to say that you and I are having the same dream? I don't know. This is where the last one left off. Those people, they called you Marno. Maybe they think I'm somebody else? Still, this is kind of fun. Let's follow them for a while. Fun? Is that the half-wit's useless half-think that's speaking? If you're bothered, if you're... If you're bothered to think of the consequences... Uh-huh. No comments from the wingnut gallery, thanks. What do you think, Sagi? Uh... Me? I... Uh... Might as well at least try to think about what's going on. I'm with Gilo. Should we think things through? What for? Would you rather be left all alone in a strange place? Well, that settles that. Those people said they were going to some place called Naus. It must be some sort of town or a village. Let's go see for ourselves. Well, 
guess the whole idea of thinking things through has just gone straight out the window. And since we got a chance to hit a blue flower, might as well see if I can get my class level up some. And... Oh, the Elementalist Charm. Yeah, I can do auras. And I'm not going to do no auras, but I am going to see about getting a class. Let's do that. Let's get some classiness happen here. And level 7. 7 decks, 60 cards. Discard 4 at a time. Perform MP Burst, I think that said. And yeah, I'm not ready for yet another class. But the MP Burst, that is a useful thing. When you activate that, you can use a shitload of special moves all at once. Also, I think I might have gotten to the class level needed to use, like, two or three special moves in a single combo. Not making it a, without having it to be a relay combo. You all set? Then let's get going. Of course I'm all set. Of course you gotta show me the door that's hidden behind the foreground stuff to get me out of this place. And that spits us out into yet another part of the sand hollow. The sand feeder's nest. We're entering sand feeder territory. Don't let them see you. A fight with a sand feeder spells certain death. Not even magic hurts them. If they find us, they'll tear us apart. That they will. Marno, this is your first time here, isn't it? Stay close behind. Well, if you say so. But of course you know when they start talking up a monster like that, you're gonna have to fight it. Ain't no good in talking up a monster if you don't get to fight it. They do that shit to hype you up. And what we gotta do here is... Hold on a moment. I know what turned into the rotten food now. I had some mushroom thing that I didn't realize was food, apparently. I think it was a sand cap or something like that, but... That turned into rotten food, and I was carrying that thing around for... I don't know why, thinking maybe it'd be used to upgrade something. But... That's what turned into rotten food! I figured it out! And we got this crazy-ass bird-looking thing here. Now this boy... Is actually kinda tough. For a regular-ass enemy. It ain't just all goofy looking, but whatever. I'm gonna have Saki also use that taunt so that, that the fucking defensey thing I just put on gets some use. And now we can actually start hitting this thing. Oh shit balls, that looked painful! Ow. Just. Alright. Uh, you take a damage. Soggy's drinking his juice. He's a good little boy drinking all that juice. It make him big and strong. Just like a him father. But he'll be fine. See how hurt he is. That's why we're making him drink that juice. You need of a juice or you will fucking die! And we can't have you fucking dying! No sir, mister. You are the one who needs to be living. And you are very close to death. That needs to stop happening. Should probably put some defense on Soggy because this thing apparently really does not like him. Yeah, look at you all hunched over. Okay, you're not poisoned. Thought you was gonna get poisoned by that, but I was wrong. Okay, he's swinging on somebody else now. Finally. Finally, somebody else can take the brunt of that thing's wrath. 
And its wrath ain't gonna be lasting too much longer. Because as you can plainly see, he's all hunched over, thinking he's about to be dying, and thinking that he's right. <laughs> And how much XP is that? 50! That thing should be worth more! So, let's just try and sneak past the giant caterpillar while it's all sleepy. Uh oh, it woke up! Its eyesight seems pretty poor, but it must have an amazing nose. It's bound to pick up our scent if we try to sneak by. I wonder if there's some way to mess up the sand feeder's sense of smell. There might be. And yes, that is definitely a sand feeder. But I don't see any other way of going, so if we just sneaky on by. Saved. Um, sorry about that. Yep, poor little bird. It's out cold. You couldn't wake it up if you tried. But, there is a treasure chest, and, yeah, that's one of Millie's attacks, and that reminds me, Gilo went and got Levin Snake's Rise, and that being the case, I don't see myself needing this ice fruit anymore, and, yeah, I still got that mattress in the deck, which is not gonna see a lot of use either, so, we'll throw those in... And we can grab... I didn't want you to jump up there! Jump back down, mister! And that bird's asleep. Pink sand is flowing in just... Flowing in just this one place. It has a nice fragrance, but it's so potent you can't smell much else. So that's why we need some balm sand. We do need something to fuck with the sand feeder's nose. And that balm sand is just the thing. So, let me just hopefully sneak past this crazy prehistoric bird thing. And, yeah. That's uh, gonna be annoying, having to kill regular ass birds on my way through here. But uh, shit just be shitty like that sometimes. There's just so much shit happening. It's all shit all the time. Just gotta put up with it is all. Unless you end up with a fucking running away card which I ain't seeming to draw definitely would have used it had I drawn it immediately and yet it's always hey there it is but I ain't the actually yeah I am in the mood to run away cuz I'm more interested in saving time than I am with gaining a little experience here and there bye bye running away and now, we'll go clog that sand feeder's nostrils with a bit of pink sand. And hopefully, slip by this bad boy. I just really want you to not be where you are. Yep, large caterpillar is taking a pleasant nap. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, come on, ya. Oh, don't come this way. Bye-bye. I really don't want to fight you. So yeah, if you patrol that way, I think I have enough of an opening to slip past you now. Alright, I'm clear. I made it by without having to fight him. Again. I mean, you already saw me fight it once. It's bound to pick up our sandwich, try to sneak by, mess up its sense of smell, have some bombs, and baby. There you go. That puts you right back to sleep. Looks like it worked. Now's the chance to slip by. Ha! You big stupid smelly man! Balm sand put the sand feeder to sleep. It'll be a while before it wakes up. Come on, now's the chance to slip by! I fucking know, Soggy! You don't gotta keep telling me! 
I know what we're here to do, and that's to get through this damn place. So now, let's uh, run on over here, throw down some of them magnetite waves, and that'll give me a bridge across that thing. So, which way do I want to... Okay, I see. I need to jump down here and throw some magnetite waves on this thing because another sand feeder comes out of that cave. But if there's a wall of sand blocking it, we won't have to deal with that shit. Let's uh, close that door real quick. There you go. Looks like we got it, but that noise, hear it thrashing around inside that hole? We better hurry up and sneak by. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could jump down from there, but nope! Gotta circle around and, of course, deal with these annoying little bastards. Or I don't have to deal with them at all because there's the escape right there! And I don't feel like wasting time with these little bastards when there's much more interesting things to be fought. Like a sand feeder that's gonna cut off the escape right there at the end of this dungeon. You know that's what they're gonna do and there happens to be a save point right there. Because we are real close to the end of this dungeon here. And with that save, we're actually gonna have to take care of that sand feeder boss in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye!